All right, so let's start the project with my logo. Um, this is just my standard logo, and now I need to size it down for the size that I need it for the hat patch. I'll zoom in here. I always like to also kind of create a backup of the core logo on a different layer, and I paste it in place so it's in the exact same spot, and then I hide that layer just in case I need to go back. Makes it easier to uh, clean up messes. Now I'm going to select offset path. This will be the line that I will cut the leather out with uh, for the logo. So in this case, I'm going to go about a half a millimeter when it's all said and done. And I want it to be round so it, it looks nice around the edges. No sharp edges. It's hard to see it right now because it, it obviously kind of ballooned it, um, but you'll see when I start to unite parts and pieces together here. And I'm going to select each of the bigger kind of balloony looking parts and then use the Unite tool. That way it's one graphic and you can see it's separate from the logo. And then I also want to make sure those, those areas that I don't want to see through on the G in between the U and the N, I'm going to just put a, a circle and uh, on the hook to cover those two. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to unite those to the overall um, back part that's going to get cut out. And it can get kind of tricky here. I need to put the, put the back in the very back and then select the circles to unite it. These are all just simple things you got to work through with Adobe Illustrator when you're doing this kind of thing. Now I'm going to change the color so you can kind of see what it's actually going to look like when it's all said and done. And you can see these areas with the C's. That's what you'll see through. You'll see the cap underneath that. I'm just going to save save the file and then go over into Lightburn and um, get it imported over there. Now that I've got it imported, I'm going to zoom out a little bit and you, you see the different layers that it auto assigns in the upper right hand corner of Lightburn. Um, I'm going to select them all, do the fill, just makes it easier to, to deal with this. And then I'm going to select the outline and make it a line. And I have these preset up for the thickness of the leather that I'm using. So I always like to do these previews to see what order everything's going to happen. So in this case, it'll out it'll engrave first and then it'll do the outline because if you outline first you'll cut the leather out things will get offset they don't work well so I always like to double check the settings of each of the fills and the lines to make sure and this one's okay and then on the line I know based on this thickness of leather I have to do two passes so I need to make sure that that is set up as well so we're we're good to go um, so now it's time to send it over to the laser all right, so I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing in real time, so sped it up quite a bit. Um, you see that it's doing the engrave first, and I, I like to hold my leather down as good as I can with magnets on the bed, which helps a lot. Uh, and then it's going to do the two passes to do the cutout, and um, works like a champ. So now let's take the magnets off and uh, see how well it cut. See the quality that we get here. Cut it nice and clean. Don't have to do any manual cutting. Try to focus here, but um, overall looks looks pretty good right now. So let's get it cleaned up now. All right. So don't mind the dirty shop sink, um, but I keep it pretty simple. Just a little water and a toothbrush. Scrub gently to try to get the soot off. Um, that way it doesn't get on the cap or anything when I kind of do the next steps. And I always also try to go around the edges, try to get rid of as much of the soot as possible. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but critical step in my opinion. So now the next step is to um, treat it essentially with this mink oil. It seems to work out really well. It, it helps to waterproof it as well as protect it. So pretty simple process. You just kind of slather it on there. Make sure you, you rub it in as, as, as well as you can. 
kind of hard on a little piece like this. I also don't want to get it really on the back because I'm going to be putting glue on the back and uh, oil and glue not going to work so well together. So um, you put it on there, you let it sit for a few minutes um, and then come back and essentially buff off. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and really pretty simple process. Just using a paper towel, um, rub it off. Sounds dirty. Um, if you got the soot dealt with with the toothbrush, then you don't really have to worry about getting that on anything. But uh, if you don't clean it off very well, then this process will kind of rub that black soot across everything. So just got to make sure you're, you're clear on that. So looks pretty good. So the final step is pretty simple. It's just gluing. I'm using this Feebing's Leathercraft cement. Shake it up a little bit. Um, and because I, I want to be very careful with it, I'm just going to put a little on the paper towel and use a toothpick to coat the back of the leather because if you do get outside the lines essentially, um, even though it dries pretty clear, you still may see it on that gray part of the cap. So I, I take a little extra time and do my best to make sure that I, I just coat what needs to be coated and not let it kind of slather around the edges. But overall, it's a fairly simple process. So now it's time to put it on the hat. And like, just like any kind of project like this, you want to be as accurate as you can be um, with something like this. It's pretty simple. Just get it lined up with that edge as best you can. And uh, essentially press it down a little bit. Make sure it's all the glue is, is touching and it's thorough. And um, You could put a weight on it if you'd like. In this case, I don't think I'm going to need to worry about it. It's already stuck pretty good. So... Um, this is exactly the outcome that I was hoping for, and again, a fairly simple project, but thought I might uh, do a little how-to on using a laser engraver for hat patches, so thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.